A few months ago, I made a video about what I thought was going to happen after T-Mobile announced that it was going to acquire Mint Mobile. And things are happening, just things that I didn't expect and things that might surprise you. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter with a quick look at what's been happening at Mint Mobile that affects you, the customer, since the acquisition was announced. Now, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that real quick and let's get started. Earlier this year, it was announced that Mint Mobile was acquiring the parent company of Mint Mobile, Kaana Group, for $1.3 billion. Okay, so a key component of this is that T-Mobile is not actually going to acquire Mint Mobile. The acquisition is not going to actually be finalized until the end of this year. We don't know all the details about the deal between T-Mobile and Mint, but it's probably fair to assume that until the end of 2023, Mint will more or less operate as an independent entity. And I've seen a lot of comments since the announcement of the acquisition that, hey, my service is really slow or the data is really choppy or just a lot of complaints about the service, but probably has nothing to do with the actual acquisition. Mint Mobile was already using T-Mobile's cell towers as a mobile virtual network operator or MVNO. So the actual backbone of network hardware sending you voice, talk, text, all that stuff to your phone hasn't really changed. So I'm not saying it's impossible that something might have changed with your service or with your connection, but it's really, really, really very unlikely. But what has changed is now Mint Mobile is offering you more data and higher thoughtly limits. Mint recently announced to all of its customers that it was upgrading its data plans. So if you were on a four gigabyte plan, that's now a five gigabyte. A 10 gigabyte plan is now a 15 gigabyte plan and 15 gigabyte plans are now 20 gigabytes. And if you have an unlimited plan, the amount of unthrottled data you get is 40 gigabytes first the previous 35 limit. You might be wondering how much is all of this extra data going to cost? Well, the answer is nothing. Complementary data upgrades across the board for annual and monthly plans. Not a bad start, and this might have something to do with the acquisition actually, since when Mint Mobile is acquired by T-Mobile, they won't be having to rent separate space on the T-Mobile network. They'll just be a part of the T-Mobile network and T-Mobile company. So there's no added extra cost to giving you a little bit of extra data. It's a bit like your network is my network, and all this bandwidth is going to be on T-Mobile's dime. And these are modest but not insignificant upgrades that make Mint Mobile's plans just a little bit more appealing. And then there's the phones. Earlier this month at Google I.O., which is their annual developer conference, they announced the Google Pixel 7a smartphone and a deal with Mint Mobile. You can now get the Pixel 7a for $100 off and six months of free service by switching to Mint. There are a few stipulations, like you have to get an annual contract, even though you'll only be paying for six months of it. And hey, it's just another deal in Mint Mobile's lineup. So why is Mint Mobile doing all of this now? Well, there are a few reasons. The data bump, like I mentioned, is likely due to the benefits of the eventual acquisition. The Google Pixel deal may have already been in place before the announcement of the acquisition, and even if it weren't, is a nice offering for the budget carrier. It basically means you can get a Google Pixel 7a for $399 and a year of Mint Mobile service for $180 total, which is a really good deal, and it's just another offering for the budget carrier that Mint Mobile is. Oh, and it's also good press. Look, when the acquisition was announced, a lot of customers didn't take it very well. And that's because Mint Mobile has always marketed itself as sort of a rebellious, smaller company that's doing things very differently than the major carriers and giving you budget service. And also their marketing campaign is very closely tied to Ryan Reynolds. So when the acquisition was announced, a lot of people just took it very personally. So some of these moves that Mint Mobile is making is to hold on to some of that goodwill that they still have left. The kind of we're in this all together and this acquisition is a win for all of us marketing strategy. Plus, Mint Mobile is still operating as an independent entity. Remember, the acquisition doesn't take place until the end of this year and it might not take place at all. The Department of Justice in the U.S. is looking at the deal and considering a lawsuit to prevent it from happening. According to reports, the DOJ is looking at whether or not the acquisition will lead to higher overall prices for customers. I'm not saying the DOJ's involvement is related, but it certainly helps to offer your customers more for the same price, especially at a time when your pricing and your practices are under scrutiny and more than a billion dollars is on the line. Right now, Mint Mobile is looking like an even better deal. And honestly, using the service hasn't really changed at all. Their mobile app, marketing emails, reminder texts, 
all of those are still the same. Mint Mobile is still using T-Mobile cell towers like they always have been, and if you hadn't read about the acquisition, you might not have even noticed. There are still though a lot of variables like does the acquisition go through, and when it does, what does T-Mobile actually do with the Mint Mobile brand? But the need for good press and maintaining their pricing won't go away, at least not in the short term. So for now, it still looks like a win for budget mobile service, at least as far as Mint is concerned. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about the acquisition or anything you might have noticed with your service down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week and I will see you in the next video.